Welcome back to the House of Representatives floor. It seems a little quiet around here, uh, and it is right now. This is your state representative, Carrie Condotta. We have passed the cutoff for the policy committees, and we are now preparing to come to the floor and vote on these bills. We'll get back to those specifics in just a minute. I want to talk about the bigger picture this week was the announcement of a multiple trillion dollar budget from the federal government. And why does that affect the state? Well, we'll have to see what portions of that budget are going to be transferred down to the state budget. As you know, our biggest challenge is to find $2.6 billion to fill a hole we have in our state budget or to make the cuts to bring us into balance. We have to do that by law and uh, we are in the process of doing that. However, the governor has not yet provided revenue package for us. Uh, we've been told a week ago we'd get it. We've been told this week and maybe next week, but it's all contingent upon the federal package that comes to us so we can see what we need to do after the federal legislation. Also, we're waiting for the revenue report from the state of Washington, which comes out on the 12th of February, and that will tell us where the state stands in terms of revenue available for spending. So all these pieces have to come together and then we only have a few weeks left. We're well into the fourth week now to put this whole package together and get out of here on time. That could be quite challenging. A number of tax bills are before us, including taxing candy, taxing water. Uh, there are some out-of-state taxes that are being talked about. Of course, a general sales tax increase is still online. There's a petroleum tax also out there. Uh, loopholes. There are all kinds of possible pieces to this puzzle. The problem is we don't really see what the end picture is, and I'm not sure anybody here really knows. So it's, uh, it's yet to be seen. As far as what programs go forward and what programs do not, that has to be uh, calculated also. And I know a number of you folks have come to us very concerned about the future of programs in our area. We are keeping an eye on the major programs and trying to do the best we can to keep as much intact as possible. But unfortunately, we are short of revenue. It is a tight time and certain programs will not be funded this year. That's just the way it is. You and I have had to tighten down, so does state government, and we will work in that direction. But we will try to provide money for the most vulnerable people, of course, uh, in terms of health care and also education. Our education funds are extremely important to our smaller districts, and the equalization program is uh, something that it was tried to, be, tried to be removed last year. We successfully fought that off, and this year we are again fighting to keep uh, levy equalization in place for our smaller districts. On a policy standpoint, an area that I work in is worker compensation and unemployment insurance. We're trying to do some things to get payroll taxes under control. For those of you that are small employers, you've got your tax increases already, despite other tax increases that might be coming. Those payroll taxes were pretty hard on a lot of small businesses. We will have no movement on worker comp this year. The labor uh, community has decided that that is not going to happen. We will have very little adjustment on the unemployment. As a matter of fact, there's a bill to increase unemployment benefits, which would further increase taxes. We'll do our best to stop that. We believe the benefits are fair right now. We're not trying to reduce them in any way, shape, or form. Folks need those unemployment benefits, but we cannot afford to expand the system any further at this point. Well, we'll have to see what happens at the federal level and see what happens with our revenue report, and we'll report back to you next week on and, uh, what the situation is. I think we'll know a lot more. Right now we've kind of hit the lull before the storm, but I assure you it'll get much more exciting in the next few weeks. We'll see you soon. This is your State Representative Carrie Condotta.